Each transmission is composed of two identical actuator units, connected by pressurized fluid lines, one water and one air. Inside the stationary frame of an actuator is the translating core, shown here in green. Fluid pressure difference actuates the core through two coaxial rolling diaphragms in red, which keep it fully sealed from the fluid lines. The core drives the rotating output shaft in cyan through the cable drive in purple, while it absorbs and balances other irrelevant forces. Here we show a prototype translating core, which consists of the central capstan and two wraparound walls which guide the cable along a continuous path from the capstan to the tensioners. The translating core maintains the cable tension even when the system is depressurized, allowing for easy tension tuning outside of the assembly. The angled cable runs match the capstan's helical groove such that there is no change in fleet angle. This allows for a range of motion greater than 360 degrees with constant cable tension, which is important for consistent mechanical behavior. Operators set up and adjust the system through a microcontroller, which regulates the water line by solenoid valves and the air line by an electric pressure regulator. System initialization is automated and instructions are given in plain language. The most important step of initialization is the automatic alignment of the actuators. So right now the system is out of phase. That's where vertically up should be. So it's that far off. If I read it on manual mode, I can read that the phase shift is negative 162 degrees, which means if it's negative, that you need to add water to the system. So I'm going to click alignment mode now. And that's it, now it's aligned. So now they're in phase with each other. A low pressure state, called hibernation, maintains the system setup for periods not in use. The following is an example of the initialization process from a hibernation state. Open, that's good. We're just flushing water through the system to get all the air out that we can if there's air in there. Now the water pressure is increasing, it'll soon turn off. Right there. And now it's going to align them to be in phase. And now we're good, and it's at standard operating mode. So I can see right here that I can uh, move this back and forth. That's a fairly stiff system. 